Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be showing you how to get infinite gems in Mirian in Middle-earth Shadow of War. This is the best farm that I have found in the game. If you have any other ones or any advice, you can always leave those in the comments. Uh, the first thing you need is some skills unlocked. The first thing you absolutely have to have is the Dragon Rider skill. So you absolutely have to do this. The others are advisable, you know, and you will be able to farm much better and longer with the others but this one is a uh, need so yeah uh, the skills of iron is very 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 desirable because uh, it makes your drake much tankier and you know it has much more health and armor so it can take a lot more punishment a lot more damage and considering you will be dealing with a lot of enemies yeah this is very very important to have as well uh, the prospector upgrades uh, is is amazing for this because yeah you can farm much less for a lot more gems you know uh this really lowers the number of gems you need to farm with this uh method and the last one is the dragon song uh, you get the prospector upgrade from doing all the gondorian quests and the dragon song from doing all the karnan quests they're very easy and very fun to do so i do not expect anybody to have any difficulty with them this one is also important because you know if your drake dies you can always call another one of course you don't have to have this one you can if the fortress Setagost is yours, you can always, you know, just make an overlord feral and, you know, you'll have any dragon bait ready absolutely everywhere on the map. So yeah, that should be it for the skills. Uh, the preferred armor, you know, I don't have uh, much here. The Marauder set is amazing for this because it increases the Mirian and gems that uh, drop from enemies that are dead. So if you have the full set, it's a very much preferable to have it all equipped. Uh, now for the location. Uh, like, like I said uh, before, Seragos Fortress is the best for this. And this one, Outpost, this here, this area is the best one for this. And I will show you in a minute why. If you already uh, did this outpost, it will not work as uh, as good as it could, and you can always lose if you if, uh, the fortress Lithlad is yours. You can always intentionally lose it and form this area right here. This little thing around the Overlord's fortress is just packed with a lot of enemies and they respawn very quickly. But it will be harder because you will take a lot more damage. It is a fort, so there's a ton of enemies there. Uh, yeah, the Seragost uh, location is much uh, easier, and I'll tell you why. Because, uh, no, this is Gorgoroth. This is Seragost. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Seragost location is much easier because it has these few towers here uh, from which the orcs and Olags spawn. So, once you get here with your Drake, start killing enemies, and after you kill uh, enemies for like a minute or two, just, you know, keep burning them, this will start to happen. I'm sorry? Yeah. yeah. So this will start to happen, let's get down there, where you'll see these huge clusters of enemies, and you can just wipe them out with one uh, fireball from your dragon. Look at all that Mirian and gems that just dropped. So yeah, uh, enemies will start to form clusters like this, and they're extremely easy to pick off, especially with a drake. So yeah, keep doing this, keep doing this, keep killing the enemies, and they will definitely form these little clusters that you can, you know, just annihilate in mere seconds. So you're killing literally hundreds of Olags and uh, Uruks in like, I don't know what, what was this, like three seconds? Look at how many dead. Uh, in any case, you can keep doing this as much as you want, as long as you don't do the outpost, don't kill the war chief uh, that guards this outpost. You know, keep doing this and the clusters will form anew. So yeah, you can do this as much as you want, uh, but keep in mind, you should definitely dismount every minute or two after doing this, uh, because, I mean during, doing this, because uh, the Mirian and gems can despawn. So yeah, you don't want to miss all the gems and Mirian that you've been farming so hard for. So yeah, just kill all of them maybe two or three times, do th two or three circles like this, and then just dismount from your drake, uh, go down there, pick all of this stuff up, and, you know, get back up and keep killing. You can always heal your drake by, uh, yeah, 
grabbing Olags, Karagors and Uruks and uh, eating them. So yeah, this is pretty much an infinite farm and the best one and the fastest one of Gems and Mirian. If this video helped you, please consider leaving a like, like and subscribing to our channel. We will definitely have much more uh, useful tips and tricks, uh, not just for this game, but for also for other games. But yeah, uh, I absolutely love this game, so I, 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 I will definitely be uploading a lot of videos with uh, random tips, tricks and advice on how to absolutely uh, be the god of this game. Uh, maybe you didn't see before, but yeah, we got the Wrath Giver Sword and we have found a very, very easy way to get it. And we will definitely be uh, uploading uh, the video about it very soon. So uh, keep tuned for that one and see you guys in the next one. Bye!